Patience will not last very long with this particular minister, and that is the last warning I will be giving the Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Question, question number seven, Dr Kennedy Graham. Thank you, thank you, sir. My question, my question is to the Prime Minister. Does he stand by his statement, quote, that's really a matter for them, when asked whether he was concerned about any of the United Nations permanent five members bombing Syria without a mandate? The Right Honourable Speaker, Prime Minister. <coughs> Speaker, yes, I will not speak for any of the member states uh, involved. They have themselves put forward their own reasons for their actions and the grounds that they are relying on under international law. Supplementary, sir. Supplementary question, Dr Kennedy Graham. Given that nobody is asking the Prime Minister to speak for other states, how can he nonetheless reconcile his statement with New Zealand's commitment as a member of the UN Security Council to uphold the UN Charter? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, because in relation to the question that the member asked me yesterday and was part of the primary question today, uh, the member states in question do believe they are observing the UN Charter. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Kennedy Graham. Is abrogating responsibility on a serious issue such as aggression without a UN mandate the kind of leadership he was talking about when campaigning for a seat on the Security Council? The Speaker, right honourable Prime Minister. Uh, we're not. As I said before, the member needs to listen carefully. Those member states have quite publicly stated that they believe they are their actions are consistent with the UN Charter. The member should know that. Supplementary. Supplementary question. How Dr. can the Prime Kennedy Minister Graham? Thank you, sir. How can the Prime Minister say he is showing leadership in the face of a refugee crisis out of Syria when he will not increase the refugee quota, takes a minimal emergency intake, and when under his watch New Zealand has dropped from 83rd to 90th per capita in terms of refugee intake? Uh, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, because we are. Question number eight. Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance.